Hello class, welcome back. So this video is gonna be one of two last videos in the series. Um, this one is very, gonna be a very brief one where we implement pop-ups and I'll explain them in a second. And in next one, we're gonna have a deployment. So we're gonna deploy both the back end and the front end of our application to Heroku. So back to the pop-up thing. So what I noticed right now in our app is that most of our buttons are just icon buttons. These buttons right here, the like, the comment, the delete, etc. Um, the only problem with this is that there's no text and some users might be confused as to what this button does. So what we can do is um, introduce these tooltips, these pop-ups that if you hover over, it tells you what this button does. Of course, you can do many other things with them. So the idea behind this is to improve user experience and make your app more, um, more easy to use and more um, intuitive. So uh, there's more complex implementations of pop-ups. For example, this one right here that shows info about the user. Actually, this could be a cool challenge for you that you can uh, implement where if you hover over this image, it tells you since when this user has signed up or you can show any other things. And of course, this you can embed any HTML in it. You can see here, they show your rating and there's some other cool implementations um, of the pop-up. Uh, for now, we're just gonna use the basic one to display some text. So let's get to that. All right, so let's go to our code base. Oops, not you, my SQL. Let's go to uh, the code base. Uh, make sure both the server and the client are running as per usual. I'm gonna close this uh, console. Uh, first, I wanna start with the um, comment button. So here I want it to say comment on post when I hover over it. So let's go to the post card. And here uh, we're gonna import pop up from uh, semantic UI react and let's go uh, so the way it works is that you basically wrap your um, your element that you want to um, use as a trigger when you hover the pop-up and you put this pop-up and you put your element inside of the trigger um, component or uh, attribute and or prop rather <laughs> and you have your content here which is what the pop-up says so let's go and actually apply this so we have our uh, button here. It's the comment uh, button. So we can take all of this or actually just type here, say pop up and the content content will say um, comment, oops, comment on post. And here we'll have a trigger, which triggers this. And the trigger will be all of this button right here. So we can just cut this and paste it here. And let's close this tag. Let's save to let pretty a format and uh, let's have a look at it. So let's go to our app. So this is our comment button and there we go. We get our pop-up. But I don't like the white pop-up because our background is already white. So I'm going to use the inverted um, version of it to make it be black with white text. So we are right here. We can just add this prop inverted and save and go back. And there we go. I think this is a better contrast for our application. All right, let's do the same for the like and the uh, delete buttons. So um, I'll start with the delete one. So let's go to the delete button here. Let's close that. So our button is right here. So we can just, uh, we need to import pop-up from semantic UI first. So pop-up and here we can uh, cut this button for now. And here we'll say pop-up and we'll have content. And this will say delete post, we have a trigger, and in the trigger we paste back our button, and of course we add inverted to uh, have it um, be black. Alright, let's save, let's look at our delete button, and there we go, it says delete post. Um, one problem with this though, because we're using the delete button for the comments as well, and it will st still say delete post here, while it should say uh, delete um, thing, comment. <laughs> Uh, we can make it take a, um, a message, but for our use case, we only have two things. So we can have a conditional here. So where are we right here in the content? We can make it dynamic. And what we're going to do is uh, we know if we have a comment ID, that means we're deleting a comment. Um, a comment. If we don't, it's a post. So we can say um, comment ID. So a ternary operator. So if we have that, that means we're deleting a comment. So we'll say delete comment, else that means we're deleting a post. So we'll say delete post like this. Save. Uh, why is this having a squiggly? 
Oh, sorry. This um, this should go on the content. My bad. Not the inverted. The inverted is just a boolean prop. And here it says delete post, and here it says delete comment. Cool. So that's working. Uh, we'll do the same for the like. Now, one thing that I noticed is that we're using inverted each time, and we're kind of typing the same thing, and it's taken um, multiple lines of code, and we're going to use it in multiple instances. So we can outsource this into its own component. Um, I mean, maybe this is not the best use case for this, but this is just to show you a good practice of how to outsource these mini um, uh, elements that you have shared in, in multiple places in your app. So here we'll create a new file in the util folder and we'll call it my pop-up, call it whatever you want. Um, so here I'll say, of course, we need to import the pop-up. So we'll say import pop-up from, oops, from semantic UI react of course we need react itself here we'll have our function so function uh, my pop-up I uh, will take props and it will return the pop-up and our pop-up is always inverted so we'll say inverted here and we'll have content. Actually, we can destructure from the props. So we wanna pass the content. We can pass whatever we want, but we only need content for now. And uh, we wanna pass uh, children because that's where the trigger element, we need to pass an element for, for the trigger prop. So here the content will be content from props, from the props, and the trigger will be the children. So whatever that's inside of this, um, component. And here, of course, we need to export default my pop-up. Let's save this. So let's go to the uh, delete button. Let's remove this import. And here we'll have our relative import. So we'll say um, import my pop-up from, go back one level to util slash my pop-up. And here we replace pop-up with my pop-up and the content will be the same, but we don't need to say inverted anymore. And this trigger stuff will be in the children. So here we'll have actual content inside of our um, my pop-up element. And here we'll put our trigger stuff as a child for this component. All right, let's look at our app. Let's refresh just in case. And it still functions the same. All right, let's uh, implement the same for the uh, what is it? The comment button. So here we'll remove the pop-up and actually we can just copy this line from here or, or from here. The import my pop-up. I would have typed it already if I didn't just go to copy and paste it, but whatever. So here we'll say my pop-up and here the content will be the same. It's static and we remove all of that from the trigger and we'll put it inside my pop-up here. I paste just to make sure that it's still working. Okay, it's not working inside of here. We need to investigate this. So, oh yeah, actually that's because it's coming from the single post. That's a different, um, it's different. It's here, it's from here. So in the single post, let's uh, do the same import. Oops, actually uh, I had a different thing in my clipboard. So here we'll say my pop-up from back to util to my pop-up and let's look for that comment button should be yeah it's here so all of this so we can just copy all of this button and here we'll say my pop-up and the content will be the same as the other one so comment on post and the um, doesn't have a trigger, we will just have content, um, child content inside of it. And there we go, we have comment on post. So let's do the same for like, let's go to the, so that will be here in the, actually no, in the postcard, or excuse me, in the like button. So here we'll um, import that. So import my pop-up from util slash my pop-up or your pop-up <laughs> so here um, this like button we can just cut this and say uh, my pop-up 
pop up and here the content as well is dynamic because um, it can be uh, for liking or unliking so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say liked and do a ternary so if it is liked the tooltip will say unlike uh, unlike else it will say um, like or you can put unlike post or like um, post it's up to you all right so we paste back actually this should be, should be in an expression in curly braces and so let's save let's look at our app there we go it says unlike and if i like uh, if i unlike it says like again cool it's switching all right so that's it for the uh, pop-up uh, in the next video, we're going to do deployment. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much for watching and following and liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.